Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video that I don't do very often. It's quite rare for me to do like a standalone TBR video. Um, if you've been watching my channel this year, you'll see I've been playing around with how I do my TBRs. I have done Twitter controls my TBR. I've done my 11 year old controls my TBR. Um, I've just been having a really good time playing like different games. I also did um, Gavin's from How to Train Your Gavin's um, Play Your TBR Right with the cards. That was really fun. And I have been including them in my wrap up slash um, reading month vlogs. Uh, but I kind of feel like they deserve their own space on my channel, so we'll see how I go. I'm not committing to do it, doing it every month, um, but I thought for this this month it would be fun to do. So, as you can probably tell by the title of the video, today I am going to be doing Scrabble TBR, and I am really excited to be doing this. Um, this was an original concept from uh, Kaz at Cats and Camera. I will leave her linked in the description. She's an amazing creator. I think she's really, really underrated. Uh, she's just got this really relaxed, laid-back style, very much herself. She reads a lot of backlist. She doesn't tend to read the like popular books on booktube so there's always something really different and interesting in her videos um, and I really enjoy them plus she's got a bunch of cats and they always appear in her videos so I, I would really highly recommend her and I think she's massively like I said I think she's underrated and you should all go and subscribe to her so I will leave her linked um, in the description I'll leave her channel and also her original um, Scrabble TBR video um, basically the concept is really simple I'm going to pick seven letters out of here because you get seven tiles at the start of a Scrabble game. I will then go and pick seven books from my TBR that start with those with that letter. And then I read the books, that's it. Um, I have already got five books on my June TBR, two buddy reads, two arcs that need reading and a book that I'm carrying over from May. And I'm really hoping that at least a couple of those will fit in with the letters because otherwise I'm gonna end up with a whopper of a TBR. Um, June for me is gonna be another very busy month. I am finishing my PGCE, so I might actually finally stop talking about it. Um, I'm finishing my PGCE in June. Uh, and then I'm teaching, I'm going straight into my first teaching job. I literally finished the PGCE on the Friday and then on the Monday I start my new job. So it's gonna be a really big month. However, I know I've said this before in other videos, but reading really saves me. I've had so many people comment and say, I don't understand how you can read so much and be doing a PTC and you know have a family and stuff. But for me, reading is essential, it's not optional. Um, and it's really saved my mental health in the last six months when things have been really busy. So having a TBR is important for me because I am not a mood reader. I have tried to mood read, I just can't do it. Uh, so having a TBR is really important. So yeah, let's get into this. I'm gonna pick these out. And then, because this is a Kaz inspired video, I will have a message from one of our sponsors. Um, and then I will come back and show you the books. So, let's see which tiles we get. So, I think the rules are, if I get a blank one, and there's only two out of 200, so my chance is, touch wood, you're on our wooden coffee table, um, are low, then I have to pick an extra tile out and have an extra book on my TBR. So, let's hope that doesn't happen. But then last time I played a TBR game, it did not go my way. Right, one, two three, four, five, let's go for a bit lower down, six, and let's go over here, seven. Okay, what have we got? So we have got T, O, E, F, F. Oh, actually, no, I know what I can do for that. Uh, a D, an I, and another D. Hmm, interesting. I'm going to go and round up some books. I also meant to say that if there are any books, my TBR is quite small now. It's currently under 30 books, I think. Um, if there aren't any on my TBR that fit the letters, I'm going to take that as a sign and do some rereading from my shelves. So I will leave you with a message from our sponsors, and I'll be back with some books in a minute. And we're back. So that was really fun. I'm definitely going to play this again. It's just a really fun, easy way of choosing your books. And I've managed to fit three of the books that are already on my TBR into the prompts. So that was good. Um, Kaz always makes a word out of the letters that she gets. Uh, the best one I could come up with was diet, which is not even a word I even like. It would give me 10, score of 10 if I went first. But if anyone else can come up with any better words, please leave them in the comments below. 
um, and I will show you the books that I'm going to be reading and I'm really excited for these. So the first one was the letter D and I'm going to be reading D Transition Baby by Tori Peters. I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. First time we've ever read together, I'm really excited for it. Um, this book, there was a lot of controversy uh, because it was shortlisted or longlisted for the Women's Prize for Fiction and a load of TERFs on the internet were saying that Tori Peters shouldn't qualify because Tori Peters is a trans woman, which is total rubbish. Um, on the upside, that controversy kind of um, advertised the book really well, I guess. I mean, it shouldn't have happened and I'm really annoyed and angry that it did, uh, but it did bring the book to a lot more attention of people that may not have seen it. Um, and yeah, uh, Gavin and I are gonna be reading this together. So this is about two trans women who are in a relationship together. One of the women detransitions and goes from being, is it Amy? Um, yeah, so Amy becomes Ames, um, and then sleeps with his boss who gets pregnant and then he gets back in touch with his ex-girlfriend and basically says, do you want to be parents together? And I think it's about the three of them working out how their family dynamic is going to work. I'm really fascinated by it. Um, I'm really excited to be reading it with Gavin and yeah, we'll see what that's like. So that was the first one. The next one is a book that's been on my shelf for ages and I know there are a couple of my booktube friends who are going to be really excited that this is now on my TBR. Uh, the letter was I and I have gone for If We Were Villains by M. L. Rio. I was gifted this for Christmas, I think by Shannon. Oh no, it wasn't. It's from Laura from what everyone else is reading. But I know that Shannon at 155 Books also loves this one. I know nothing about this except that, is it to do with Shakespeare? I feel like it's, yeah, so a young actor has just been released, served 10 years for a murder he may or may not have committed, and then I think the police detective goes back and wants to find out what really happened, something like that. I think it's Dark Academia, it's something to do with Shakespeare. Yeah, I can already see like Shakespeare quotes in here. Excited to give this a try. It's also got a really cool cover. Um, when friends become enemies, there's no limit to the damage they can do. So yeah, intrigued by that. E, I struggled with a little bit, and then I saw a book that I treated myself to a couple months ago, and that is Execution by S.J. Paris. I picked this up at random in Waterstones on my first trip out into the world a couple of months ago. Um, it's set in England, 1586, two queens, one throne, a conspiracy to murder. Um, and then I think someone said on the back that it's similar to... Somebody said it's similar to C.J. Sampson, who, <laughs> as you can tell, I am a fan of. So yeah, we've got that one. And then for tea is another book I was gifted for Christmas, and that is A Thicker Than Blood by Mike Omar. Who gifted me this one? Or did I buy it myself? Maybe I bought it myself. I can't see a gift note in it. Um, so this is the third. Yeah, I think I bought it myself. This is the third in the Zoe Bentley series. I have given the first two books five stars. I loved them so much. And this is the third one. Um, FBI profiler jo Zoe Bentley and agent Tatum Gray thought they'd seen it all. But this young woman's barbaric murder is especially hard to stomach and it's a murderer who drinks his victim's blood. So that'll be a cheery one, um, but I always fly through these. It's one of those like weirdly heavy books. I don't know what they bind them with, um, but yeah, I'm excited to pick this one up because so far that series has been really up there for me. Uh, next one was F, the next letter. Yeah, that was a T, this is for F. Um, and this is my other buddy read for the month. This is The Foundling by Stacey Halls. I'm gonna be reading this with um, Olivia Savannah for Olivia's Catastrophe and Mary for Mary Among Stories. It's the first time we've read together. I'm really excited for that. This is another historical fiction about a woman who leaves her child um, at a foundling hospital. So she leaves her there, gives a token um, so that she can then go back and reclaim her. Um, when she's able to look after her, she goes back a few years later, I think, and the child has already been taken. And it's her trying to work out where a child's gone, who's got her and what's going on. I en quite enjoyed, um, I can't remember, oh, The Familiars is right there. I quite enjoyed Stacey Hall's first novel, The Familiars. Um, I didn't love it as much as the booktube hype, but this is her second novel, so I'm excited to see where her writing has gone. And look at this cover. I I mean, it's just... It's, it's so pretty and I'm really, really excited to read with Olivia Savannah and with Mary. F, no, we've just done F, O, is the first of the two arcs I need to read this month, which were very kindly sent to me by Book Break in exchange for an honest review. And that is The Ophelia Girls by Jane Healy. I mean, first of all, this cover, I'm not sure if this is the finished cover because this is an art copy. It might look slightly different, but it's still gorgeous. This has got two timelines. We are in the 70s. <laughs> The first time I was in the 70s, we've got a group of girls um, who go to an elite boarding school, I think, 
and they're obsessed with pre-Raphaelite paintings, including the drowning woman, which is the um, depiction of Ophelia. Something goes wrong, there's some dark secret. And then we jump forward to 1997, one of those girls, Ruth, returns to the house where this happened and takes her teenage daughter and the rest of their family. And then a friend or someone from her past turns up and I think it goes from there. So I'm very much intrigued by this. I haven't read anything else by the author, but I've heard really good things and I'm excited to give this a try. On the front, it says a hidden past, a secret present, one life changing summer. Yes, sign me up. Okay, then we were on to D. Now this one is a beast. This is also sent to me by Book Break, although um, it was sent to me after it came out. So it's an actual finished copy, uh, which is amazing. And that is Daughters of Night uh, by Laura Shepherd Robinson. Can we just appreciate the size of this? This might be why it's been on my shelf for a little while, but it's also really beautiful. And it's blurred by CJ Samson on the back. This is clearly a month for historical fiction. Very excited for this. I don't really know a lot about it. Um, my name is Caroline Corsham, she said. I believe you know my husband, Captain Henry Corsham. A woman has been murdered, Mr. Child, and I need your help. I think it's about a woman... Oh, it's got a bookmark in it. That's exciting. I think it's about a woman who investigates the murder of a sex worker because nobody else will. We'll give it a try. I'll let you know what I think. So that's the end of the letters. And I got two more books that are on my TBR that I need to read this month. The first is Second Arc, again for book break. Um, this is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. I've heard loads of hope about this and I'm really excited to get to it. What if one of the most powerful emperors in, Chi in China started out as a poor second daughter? That's all I really need to know. So yeah, more historical fiction or historical speculative fiction, I guess. I'm not sure if this is actually based on a real on real life um, but it says Mulan meets the son of Achilles in a stunning queer reimagining of the dawn of the Ming dynasty so yes and then finally the last book which I am actually over halfway through <laughs> uh, was a book that I carried over from May and that is A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan this is very kindly gifted to me last month by Olivia Savannah at Olivia's Catastrophe as you can see I am this far through so I will try not to start reviewing it uh, but it's basically Oh, let me just read you a little bit of the blurb. A sweeping historical saga that traces five generations of fiercely power powerful mothers and daughters, witches whose magical inheritance is both a dangerous threat and an extraordinary gift. And we basically start in Brittany in 1821 and then we go up to World War II, I believe. And yes, I'm very much enjoying that. And you'll see that in my uh, June reading month. So those are all the books that I'm going to be reading. I have thoroughly enjoyed Borrowing Kaz's Game. She did say that I could, but incidentally, I did check with her before I did it. Uh, so thank you Kaz for coming up with this. This was so much fun. Can I lift all the books? They're now in a really wonky pile. Oh yeah, like a real booktuber. There we go. Those are all the books that I'm going to attempt to read in June. Let's see how I get on. Thank you so much for watching this, uh, this, I nearly said wrap up then, TBR video. Um, please drop me a comment below, let me know which of the books you think I should read first, which one are you most excited for me to read. Leave me a witch, witchy emoji, is that a thing? Yeah, there's a little witch with a hat. Leave me that if you've made it to this point in the video. Uh, please subscribe if you would like more of this chaos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys, bye!